Dust Studios, and welcome back to Let's Play Mountain Blade Warband. Now, you may have noticed something a little bit different. Yes, and why am I in this menu screen? I should be in the menu screen. That's also very different. Um, so, last time I was using Fraps to record, and I don't know if this is a lot better or anything, but it seems to run at basically the same frame rate, so I'm going to go ahead and keep using... Um, X split, which is what I usually record with, because I'll get a lot better frame rate in game. Now I'll be right back because I just want to see if this is running okay. So quick, jump! Seems to be running okay. So let's begin. And I have my game muted. That's not running okay. All right, there we go. So last time we were partaking in a bit many tournaments. How much gold do we have now? We have 10k. I want to get a full party. Let's see how many troops we have. 86. We want to level up our charisma. Just one more. How many do we have? We have 22 right now. Let's go ahead. Did we ever throw anybody from the... Well, we'll see. Ransom Broca. Do I have... Uh, I don't have any prisoners. Janai. My apologies if I was rude earlier. What was your story again? I was hired by a lord. Wait, wait. Who is this guy? Huh? I was a little confused because it said that we had seen him last time. But I'm going to go ahead and replenish my health. Because I, loved, I noticed last time that my health... I'm actually um, way above where I should be. Or way below. Where I actually should be with that. I should be way above. Let me turn up my music. Yeah, that's good. So I'm way lower HP than it should be. It's at 47%. So we'll wait another day or two. And we should be back to 100%. I want 100% so that way if I get into battle. I'll be able to actually do something for my team. And inspire my soldiers. I have green tea by the way. You're going to be hearing a lot of this tea. I love tea. I love tea. It's great stuff, you know. Oh, God. Deserters, no. We kind of don't want to be around the Serenet area. They have a lot of bandits. Also, the Karagats have a lot of bandits, so I don't want to really go too far north. Oh, boy. I oh, no. Oh, I, uh... I do not wish to get into a fight, so I, I shall pay you. Okay entry now we will be using um recruiting nobles once we get enough relation with cities and stuff because if we do that we'll get a ton more troops a ton easier but it does take away our renown so we're not going to be doing it a lot we'll probably use it to build up one army or two and then we won't use it anymore after that because usually after an army or two, you start getting really drained on Renown. I'm just gathering up as many soldiers as I can here. I don't want to be weak at all. I want to be very strong. I actually want the bandits to be running away from me. Once the bandits are running away from me, we can do stuff a lot easier. And we need about an 80-man, 90-man army to do that. And stuff will still chase us around. Oh no, it's a Billigrant drunk. Ugh, smack you in the face. Ugh, kick you, smack you in the face. Yeah, so actually using... Oh, well, I'd say that he started it. That entitles you to a sword and his purse, I suppose. Have a drunk on the house, as I dare say. You've saved a patron or two to a broken skull. Still, I hope he still has a pulse. It's not good for an establishment to get a name or a place where a man gets killed. Such a waste. So we went ahead and took care of him. Make your preparations. Okie dokie. That's everyone here. Okay, so I want to go away from there. I'll go ahead and dip down, grab all the troops from these villages. Because the thing is, we can have a lot of troops and not really a trained army. But I want a trained army so that way if they do come after me, I'll actually have a defense against them. Because without, with all these peasants, they're still going to chase me. And that means if I get attacked, I'm a bit screwed in a sense. I actually did a lot of playing this. I did, what, 12 hours since I last recorded? 12 hours of playing this. 
So I've done a lot. And I've learned a lot, too. Oh, yeah, you can get some awesome arbalests in this, which I did not know before. And assassins get sent after you. Hopefully, we'll see that because I'm going to be raiding. I'm going to join the Rodox, and we're going to be raiding. Ooh, is that better? Well, we lose two pierce, but what do we gain? Weapon reach is shorter, and that's the same. That's not worth it to me. And the value's less. Yeah, get that the heck out of here. I don't want that. We'll be joining the Rodox, and once we join them, we're pretty much going to loot the heck out of the Swadian villages. Yeah, we have our first companion. Oh, Master Huntresses. Very good. Traveler. Oh, yes, an Ashik. These guys are amazing, and I want to go ahead and talk to all of them that I find. Greetings to you, Mouse Nervosa. What does it do to you? Or what is it you do? I compose and write songs for the lords of the land and their ladies. Sometimes I sing about war, sometimes the virtues of kings, and sometimes, for more sophisticated audiences, about the virtues of wine. For most audiences, however, I sing of love. Mm. <laughs> Can I answer any other questions for you? No, that is all. Okay, so we want to go ahead and learn all the poems that we can from this guy. So can you teach me any poems? I can teach you the poem, The Heart's Desire. It is a lyrical poem which can be interpreted either erotically or spiritually. The lover realizes the majesty, the majesty of the divine by gazing upon the body of his beloved. I believe that it appeals to women of certain romantic temperament, but you risk scandalizing or boring others. To teach it to you, I will need some hours of your time, and of course a small fee for your service. It's about 300 dinars would suffice. Yes, teach me that one. Very well, repeat after me. You are the first and the last, the outer and the inner. When I drink from the cup of love, I escape the tread of time. A moment in solitude with you would have no beginning and no end. You are the first and the last. Very good. But there are many stanzas to go. Now listen closely. And we will go ahead and what? Black screen? Black screen! <laughs> we will go ahead and learn that. Okie dokie, so we've learned it. And I hired everybody from the tavern, so let's go ahead to the next village. We're, we want to stack up a full party. Oh, I'm forgetting to do something. I am forgetting a very crucial part. How much money do we have? 6k. Okay, I am forgetting a very, very crucial part. Paying for wages for an army is going to be very expensive, about a thousand dinars a week. And if we talk to this douchebag right here, aka Guildmaster, aka Master Guild Douchebag Master, something like that, we can buy productive enterprises and we can start businesses in all the towns across Calradia. Now we want to do this. This will bring in massive revenue and pretty much will always cover the fee for a hundred man army. Now if we get a castle and we store troops in there, we pay half the normal wages that we would. So we'd be able to furnish about a 200 to 250 man army if they're all garrisoned. So, I mean, you make tons and tons of money of this so i want to buy a productive enterprise very good sir we in this guild no one trusts you and i think i could find someone to sell you the land you need a couple of things to keep in mind skilled laborers are always at the premium so i doubt that you will be able to open more than one enterprise here in order to make a profit for yourself you should choose a commodity which is relatively short supply but for which the raw materials are cheap what sort of enterprise would you like to start? Now, we, we will always want to just make bakeries. They're the easiest. So we want to make either bakeries or brewery, bre ah, breweries. Those are going to be basically what are going to make us a lot of money and not drain the pocket cash that we've still got left. So we're going to go ahead and make a bakery since we don't really have that much. Very good, sir. The land and materials on which you may build your mill will cost you 1,500 dinars. Right now, your mill will produce bread worth 462 dinars, which is a lot of money. That can actually pay for the current army that we have right now with just one factory. Now, imagine if we have these all around the map. The only bad thing about this is if we go to war with kingdoms who have our factories and businesses in them, we won't 
get the profits from them. They'll be cut off from us. So we do have to watch out for that. That can cut our money supply a bit. But if we have ones in every single town, it shouldn't be too big of a problem. So, do you wish to proceed? Yes, here's the money for the land. And we got that. So we'll also be doing jobs for them in the Rodox cities to go ahead and gain the, the loveliness of our fellow citizen. And we will go around recruiting more peasants. Katrin, hello. She's Oh, wow, she's got training skill. So over here, here are the party skills. I'm going to be training most of my companions to become... Or to... Ah... I'm going to be training them in party skills, is what I mean to say. I don't know what the heck's going on. I need more tea. Hold on. Ah, yes. It's a bit cold now, but... Anyways. So, we'll be training most of our companions to be... Basically, party skills. We'll be training them in party skills. Engineering, trading, first aid, wound treatment... What is it? Surgery? Stuff like that. I think pathfind pathfinding, I think it's that is a pretty skill. I'm not sure, but we'll be training them in things like that. So that that'll be really good for us. And there are a few companions who are of noble status that we can actually recruit to kind of be our minions when we go off and make our own kingdom. But we won't want to give the title to Katrin. Because she's a peasant and she's a woman. I know that may sound a little bit sexist, but She's a woman, so in this society, people are going to bag on me if I give her power. Now, I believe Queen Catalyst of Praven is, you know, she's the queen of the Swadians, and she's a girl, but she's also well-respected. So, I think it doesn't matter so much if she's a girl, but if they're not of noble status, people will hate you for granting them land just because they're not a noble. So, that you got to keep that in mind when you are you know, putting people out to give them to your thieves. And I don't want people to hate me. I'm pretty much going to make enough enemies trying to get support in the Rodok Empire enough to either become the Marshal or start off my own kingdom. And I don't really want to make any more enemies than I have to. So, yeah. There are a few quests that you can get. Ah, oh, 600 in wages. There are a few quests that you can get to... Lighten the load. Oh, no! We've been attacked! Is it an assassin? Oh, okay. Bandits. Bandits. No, no, no! Oh. oh, God. Whoa! I thought I was gonna die there! Yay! We have enough for 12 charisma. Which is still isn't enough for me to ship. I did turn off wounding capabilities because I really hate that for one. We want a bit of persuasion. That can help us with getting a mate. As well as a couple of other things. We're going to need to use them for quests. Particularly other lords bagging on other lords. We're going to use that to make friends. But it's also going to get us enemies. But we will restore them back to neutrality once we are done making them our enemies and the other person loves us. So... I'm not really going to give a flying hoot about all the other lords, other than the Rodok lords. Those are going to be my main guys that I'm going to try to please in bed. So, still got $4,000, and we already have a mill here. Okay, so, let me look at my weekly budget. Are we making two? Sure is. Oh, so I make, I have two? I have two currently. Let's go up to Jalkawa. And open up another business there. We can also look at the arena and see where tournaments are. Tournaments are pretty much going to be making us a bulk of our money and renown. So we always want to go ahead and see where those are. Okay, Doki, we can buy a bit more food. Hard tacks are really good if you have a huge army and you're going to be stationed for a while. But they don't make your troops happy whatsoever. I mean, hard tacks, I wouldn't be happy if I was eating a hard tack either. They are absolutely horrible. So... I wouldn't be exactly happy about that. Maybe they could get, like, molasses and, like, kind of dip it in. But that would be black powder ages. Pretty sure the American colonists had to do that. Maybe they made, like, flatbread as well. <laughs> Which must have been absolutely awful. Let's open up another 
200 dinars a week. Take my money. And I want to see where the nearest tournament is so we can start heading there. Uh, let's see. Tournaments in any nearby towns. Sargoth and Hallmar. I don't want to go to Hallmar. We're going to have to go to Sargoth. Because Hallmar's right there, Kurgit Lands. And I don't like the Kurgit Lands one bit. Especially with the army size that I've got going right now. I'll probably just end up getting mauled. So I don't want to... See, I think this guy is of noble status. I don't want to talk to him, but... I think he's of noble status, but we're gonna go ahead and get Clefty because I'm pretty sure she is free. Hello there! I couldn't help but noticing. I mean, shouldn't I be like, Hello there! I couldn't help but noticing that you came into the town at head of a company of soldiers. Are you by any chance looking for new hands? I could be, what's your story? I mean, I, I could be, I, what? I could be, what's your story? Oh, God. I grew up. I grew, I grew up in Malaya your castle as a bonded servant, working alongside my mother in the kitchen. So I would amuse myself by hunting. Okay, I can't do this. By hunting mice through the pantries and sculleries. I was so good at it that I put the castle cats out of a job. And eventually the lord realized that I might also be employed to the track down bigger game. 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 God, why don't I just start all over? I grew up in Malayurg Castle as a bonded servant, working alongside my mother in the kitchens. I would amuse myself by hunting mice through the pantries and sculleries. I was so good at it that I put the castle cats out of a job, and eventually the lord realized that I might also be employed to track down bigger game on certain errands of a type perhaps better left unsaid. Needless to say, I found a number of opportunities to avail myself of trinkets that had been formerly belonged to my lord's enemies, so I was able to buy myself out of bondage. I and find hire as a free agent. My last job was here in Jokala. Unfortunately, my last employer's wife had a lovely amulet of a kind I simply couldn't resist. She doesn't know it's missing yet, but she might soon. So tell me, are you looking for helpers? I might be. What can you do? Well, sir, let me tell you. I may not know how to read and write, but I know the quickest way to a man's heart. It's between his fourth and fifth rib, if you understand me. <laughs> I've never actually really read these either, so I can throw knives in addition to stabbing with them. And I'm slippery as quicksilver. You'll find me useful in a fight. I'll warrant. It sounds like you can do the job. I will hire you. Now that's good news, Captain. So how about paying me a little something to seal off our agreement? A mere 200 dinars would be enough. Please don't take this the wrong way, but I've had some bad luck with employers in the past. So 200 isn't really a lot. We're going to go ahead and get her because we want to stack as many companions as we can. So here you go. Good. Give me a few moments to prepare and I'll be ready to move out. Okie dokie. So we want to go ahead and recruit the mercenaries over here. Archers. Wow, they're really cheap. Okay, then. See, we're gonna need a bit more food. There's a hard tack left and some grain. Grain is really cheap and really sustainable food. We need to start heading towards Sargoth. We'll go ahead and put Clefty all the way up here. She's got spotting and tracking. She's really good with knives, so I'll try to get her a set of throwing knives and some really light gear. We'll see how that works out for her. Maybe give her a really low shield skill. She can get a really light shield. And we'll see how that works out for her. Let's see. Oh, we're at a full party. Okay, then. Hard tack. It's just what I need. Okay, okay, on our way to Sargoth. We ought to be careful because the... What are they? Sea Raiders? They can absolutely screw us up. We want to be careful for them. Although I think they have been replaced by something else, so... I see the mountains. We must be getting near home. Uh, we don't have time to chat right now, so you can just screw off. Are they chasing me? Okay, I thought they were. Patrol of Nords. I don't know, we really want to get Nord infantrymen because they 
can form massive shield walls so we can put them in front of our two-handers and our two-handers will pretty much be in the clearing so they're a good backup troop let's go ahead and join the tournament place a better ourselves 250 dollars and fight in the next tier oh boy i forgot ah! Ah! oh my god i had a burp Oh, I have the sour taste in my mouth. I forgot, but yeah, Nord tournaments don't have any horses because they're Nords and they don't like horses. Which is why I love Nords so much. Although they are reworked in this mod, I think they have like really light scouts, but they don't use a lot of them. Please better on yourself, 250 dollars, and fight in the next round. We want to keep our team together. That's going to be the key to winning this thing. Yeah, see, I'm getting a lot better frames now, so I can actually do melee. As to where before, my frames were so bad. I was getting 20. You guys probably saw about a 30 frame rate. But I was getting about 20. Now I'm getting about 40. We got him, guys! We got him! So it's a lot easier on me. Two teams with one fighter each. Okay, I'm 1v1ing a guy. What does he have? Oh, he has a hatcher, too. I'm gonna get you! Oh, God. He broke my shield. It's alright, I got him, though, guys. No worries, no worries. Two teams with two fighters each. Don't you die on me. There we go. Yes. Yeah, I've also become a lot more adept to fighting bots, as you can see. I'm not piss poor horrible anymore, so. We actually, feasts are a lot better for tournaments since we can just stay in one area and get massive tournament money from it. Although I realize tournaments are probably aren't the funnest thing to watch, but when we get thieves, we should have enough to pay for our soldiers, and we're going to be looting towns, fighting lords, so we should have enough upkeep to not do tournaments. But we still want to do them to get renowned, so we will pick them up every once in a while. And we might need them to buy a new horse, because horses go lame in this mod. And I'm pretty sure they go lame in native as well. We want to get a new horse, can we? Yeah, I like the Armored Courser. That's the one that I was using for a long time on my single player. And then it went lame. Because it's really fast and it has decent armor. Oh, we can get that one, but it's really slow. Yeah, see, it's really fast and it has a bit of armor. So, that's why I like it. It's not too armored, though. It's really actually light. Let's see. Can we get anything here? I want a new sword or something. Six, four. Yeah, the Arbalest right there. Those are badass, but you need so much skill to use them. A long arming sword. That would actually be useful to us. Go ahead and get that. I'm not going to be buying uh, too much gear from markets. It's mostly going to be food from markets, but let's open up another thing. Productive Enterprise. Let's see. How much snow... 257 300 yeah so the bread actually seems to be the best and it's the cheapest i'll usually open up either ale works or bakeries so yeah another thing if you didn't know this already renown gives you more troops as well as charisma both of those give you more troops so you can have your charisma maxed out and everything at 30 full leadership and you can still have the option to gain more troops if you get more renown so you can have, you can potentially have like a 500 man army let's see what do you have how much is ale 254 and how much is bread 222 so we'll take the ale or maybe maybe there's something else that's better leather 15 but it's 8000 we'll make ale don't want to spend too much money. I still want to have money left over to open up more business, commerce, and other places. Usually what happens in this game, though, is either the Nords start getting really powerful, 
or the Swadian. The Swadians usually end up getting beat back really far into, like, Suno and Praven. They usually end up getting beat back way back into those villages. And the Noras usually end up doing the best. Oh, we've got Nords versus Vagers. Oh, I can't get involved. I know there's a mod that lets me, if I'm neutral, I can still get involved with conflicts, like battles. I want to be friends with the Nords. That would actually be an alternative to the Rodox. Mercenary crossbowmen, I'll take you guys. I don't think I have any prisoners, so. Guildmaster and Productive Enterprise. Bakery. Now let's go to the arena and see where the next tournament is. So with our current army size, we won't get attacked anymore. And if we do, we should be able to defend ourselves. I'd like a bit more cav. Cav is really useful, and it can really turn the field of battle. Like, you can be heavily outnumbered and use your cav to, like, a massive advantage. A massive, massive advantage. An absolutely massive advantage. So let's see. Hallmar. Next tournament in Hallmar. Okie dokie, guess that's the only place to go, so let's do it. It's on the border, so I don't think we'll have too much of a problem. The Rodox, they don't really, since they're such a, I think they're really small, in my opinion. I think they're really small. Maybe it just seems so small because they're like in a little mountainy area. Maybe that's why. I'm not sure, but the Kurgits are by far the worst bandit-wise, and everybody's going to be on a horse, because they're Kurgits. That's their tradition. Oh boy, and I start out with a bow. Alright, we're going to have to crutch on our team heavy time, so... Oh, I'm on the blue team. What am I doing? Come here, you. Come here, come here. Are you, what are you doing? Yeah, get whacked. Yeah, and also with using X Split, since it doesn't take up as much room, I'll be able to record longer episodes. So, yay! Oh god, I'm getting shot at by an archer. Oh no, 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 no. Ah! Oh. Hopefully, the, I don't get eliminated. Oh, I didn't! Yay! Lucky me! Yes! My forte. Swords. Actually, a lance would probably be good for this, since they tend to clump up, so... Get out of the way. Cav, I really hate, but I can use it to my advantage, and single player, so I use it. Oh no, they're chambering me! Hi! Oh my god. Two teams, eight fighters each. Oh my god, two-handed sword this time. I want to hit that guy. <laughs> oh, talk about late reactions as well. Ow. Die, you dumb bitch! You too! Oh yeah, take that. Ho. I'm too pro! I'm just too pro! Oh no, it's a 1v1. Oh, he has a bow. Right, I got this. Oh god. No, 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 please, no! Nah. Bitch, die! There you go. Good job. 
Yeah, it's really hard when you have javelins and you're trying to take out. Oh god, this isn't gonna be good. Oh, fuck me! I shouldn't have even tried that. How much do we have? Two thousand. Oh god, it's the weird song again. Okay, let's see. I, I need something to make money. So I'm gonna go ahead and travel to the Rodox again. See if the lords need any jobs done. Hopefully, I opened up enough businesses to pay my wages. And I should be good money-wise. Can't believe I got freaking lost that tournament. I really like the Nord tournaments because you don't, you don't have horses. I can't, I can't do a tournament on a horse. I really can't. Quite annoying. I think I saw a Lord back here. Yeah, there he is. Do I know you? I'm so mad at your service. I can only hope that you. Your honor and mercy matches your valor. Do you have any tasks for me? I can join as a mercenary. Hey, I'll do it. As you wish, yet your enemies are my enemies. And we're at, at war with these Sirenids. I kind of want to stay away from the war zone just a bit. At least in the beginning here. Because that will be a bit of a problem. Now this is, this quest is going to make us get hated by the people that we go in. So we're going to be hated by the people of Saramish for quite a bit here. I also want to do some elder village, village elder quests as well. Is he in there? Is he in there? No, he's not. I would have expected him to be in there. They're usually in storehouses if you can walk into them. Maybe he's behind here. Oh, there he is. How you doing? I'm looking for the murder of the name Petchnack the Cutting. You fit the description. I don't understand. I never killed anyone. I think you've got the wrong man. Drop your sword if you are innocent. We'll go now and talk to your neighbors. And if they verify your story, I'll go on my way. I'm not going anywhere, friend. You have to fight for your silver today. No problem. I just needed your head anyways. Die, dog! Yeah, he got wrecked. Congratulations. We get more persuasion, and we're done. Let's get out of here. We're going to be hated by them just a bit, but we'll get that back. Don't worry. Hopefully he's still in the same place and he didn't leave me. Is he in Valyuka? No, he's not. We'll ask Gerluck where he is. Hello, Matt at your service. Do you have any tasks for me? Certainly, I will carry your message. Oh, yes! I love this quest! <laughs> I love this quest. This is basically where the guy can't write a poem, so he wants you to write it for him. I appreciate it, Sir Matt. Er, there's just one small snag. I'm not a literary man, and I suspect this type of thing is beyond me. You will have to help me write the note. Hmm, let's see. How do you think I should start off? I was thinking either, Greetings, wench! <laughs> Uh, my love, my darling, I hunger for your love. I'm not going to be a douchebag to him. So, excellent, I like it. Now, what next? Um, you're fragile. I, I admire a woman with some meat on her bones, yes. Wonderful, truly a masterpiece. And to conclude on a high note. Uh, evokes a subtle, subtle, subtle mystery. Uh, your beauty dazzles me like the glare of the sun on an enemy shield. And now he's going to like me a lot for that, so. Okay, also I need to ask you a question. And I just said ask. I need to ask you a question. Where is... What is his name? Was it Tribidin? Count Tribidin, I think it was. Oh, oops, I clicked the wrong one. Oh, I'll go ahead and check right now. Count Talbar.
Talbar. Surrendar. Close to Surrendar. Oh, there he is. Oh, no, that's Gerlock. Where is he now, Gerlock? Oh, no. Don't you be going into enemy territory. Is he going into enemy territory? I think he is. I will be gone, then. I do not want to go into enemy territory. I need to find you, you douchebag. Where are you? Are you at... Oh, he's probably at Urgellan Castle, right? Yeah. I should have suspected that. Hello, Count Talbar. Oh, you're bald! But the task you gave me. I gave him his punishment. This is blood money. I can't accept. Do you have any tasks for me? Sensitive matter. I have a spine, Shariz. The job is... Ah, I'll do it! Will I be paid? Oh, yeah. Okay, this might be a bit of a challenge. If I do go in and I get beat in melee, that's going to be a huge problem for me because I'm pretty sure I'll lose my whole army. So we have to make it into Cherise. That could be a bit of a problem, actually. That could be a big problem. But if we manage to get in... Um, oh, I don't, I'm not too sure about this one. We'll give it a try, though. It's currently at Yalen, so I need to take this letter to Yalen. Maybe we can wait it out long enough so we'll make peace with them? Or, oh, if, if, if we make peace, does... I think if we make peace, the quest runs out. That might be the case of that. So, uh, we'll try next episode. I really hope it doesn't go badly. Yeah, gain experience. And that guy likes me a lot now. So, thanks for watching, guys. We're in the Rodox. This is our lovely character. 160 right now, no fiefs. We're a mercenary for the Rodox. We'll eventually join them when we get about 300, 200 renown, and then we can get a village from them, and we can actually start collecting taxes. But your village pretty much always gets raided when you're in war, so it kind of just collects weight ugh, taxes when you're not at war, because they'll instantly just go and raid it if no one's watching it. Last time I got Glenmar, and when we went war with the Swadians, they came over, raided it. Pretty much everybody, I don't know how, got over and raided it, so. Thanks for watching, guys. You know, it's been a great time. If you want to see more Mountain Blade Warband, click on the annotations to the top left. Also on the top right, I've got some more videos by me, and if you're liking this Let's Play, please like, comment, subscribe, and visit out my other Let's Plays. It really means a lot, and I really appreciate it. So, I'll see y'all in the next one. This is Matt from SKU, signing off. Bye-bye!